So this is a problem to search for a perfect cube in a given set of numbers. So let's see the problem statement. This is from ISI entrance 2023. The statement is this, that there are 51 numbers, N1 up to N51. There are 51 distinct numbers such that each of them have exactly 2023 positive integer factor. So each of these NIs have 2023 divisors. And no prime larger than 11 divides any of them. So all the prime factors of N1, N2 up to N51 are 11 or smaller. Okay, so these are the two given factors and we want to show that some one of these numbers, at least one of these numbers, is a perfect cube. Is a perfect cube. So we will be using something like pgn whole principle. Not exactly, but something like it. And number of devices formula to solve this problem. So let's get started. So the first thing to realize is that the numbers, the prime factors, the allowed prime factors are two, three, five, seven, eleven. There are five of them allowed. And if a number, so this is a number of devices formula, devices formula, is that if a number m it has a prime factorization p1 to the power k1, p2 to the power k2, up to pr to the power kr, then the number of divisors, number of divisors of m is k1 plus 1 times k2 plus 1 up to kr plus 1. This is a well-known idea from elementary number theory. We discuss it in our ISI and CMI entrance programs and our math Olympiad programs extensively. There is also a video on this in our YouTube channel. You can check it out. It's a very important fact from elementary number theory. So I mean, since some, some of you might be new to this, I can give you an example, let's say 36 is one number, you first prime factorize it, 2 squared times 3 squared, and the number of divisors of 36 will be 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 1, which is 9. And you can check that there are exactly 9 divisors of 36. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, um, uh, eight, nine, uh, twelve, then there is eighteen, and then there is thirty six. There are exactly nine factors or divisors of thirty six, and that we get from this number of divisors formula. Okay, so now we know that each of these numbers have exactly 2023 positive integer factors, right? Now, what we will do is we will do some case work here. So case one, the number ni has exactly three prime factors. Prime factors. Why do I choose three? Well, I choose three because 2023 
is equal to 7 times 17 times 17, right? This is actually given in the problem as a clue. That's the factorization of 2023. So if I have P1 to the power K1 times P2 to the power K2 up to P PR to the power KR as a number, then the divisors is K1 plus 1 times K2 plus 1 up to KR plus 1. This is equal to 2023. And you can easily see that there can be at most three factors because 2023 itself has three prime factors. I mean, actually two, but if you regard 17 as a repeated uh, factor, then there are three pieces possible. Not more than that. That's why I'm assuming the first case that Ni has exactly three factors. So it it is a to the power 6, b to the power 16, c to the power 16. It's of this particular form. Um, if it's this form, then the number of divisors will be 6 plus 1 times 16 plus 1 times 16 plus 1, which gives you the desired 2023. Okay, so how many such prime factors are possible? Well, first of all, you have to choose A, B, C from the set 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. These are the only allowed prime factors. So you can choose that in 5, choose 3 ways or 10 ways. Now, one of these three chosen numbers should have the sixth power and the remaining two will automatically have the 16th power. So you have to just choose the one which has the sixth power. And to choose one number from three given numbers, that can be done in three choose one ways or three ways. So the total number of numbers will be 10 times three which is 30. 30 numbers will be of this kind. What kind? There are exactly three prime factors and the number of divisors is exactly 2023 and all the prime factors come from this set. So there are 30 numbers of this type. Okay. Now let's look at case two. Case two is there are exactly exactly two prime factors. Exactly two prime factors, okay? So that's possible if, if we have these two cases. We have a to the power 6 times b to the power 288. That's one case. And because in this case, the number of devices will be 6 plus 1 times 288 plus 1. So this is basically 17 squared. And this is 7, which is 2023. So this is one case. Or we could have, so this is like the sub case 1. And then the sub case 2 is simply a to the power 6 times 7, 7 times 17 minus 1, 7 times 17 minus 1, b to the power 16. That's all. So, again, we will have the number of divisors 7 times 17 minus 1 plus 1, 16 plus 1, which is again 2, 0, 2, 3. Right? So, in this case, in this case, this is a to the power 118, b to the power 16. So how many ways can we do this? Well, first we have to choose A and B from the set 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. So that can be chosen in 5 choose 2 ways, which is 10. Now, of course, we have to decide which one is A and which one is B. So the total number of cases is... 10 times 2, which is 20. Okay, 
Similarly, this one will have 20 cases, subcases, and I'll come to this one, come back to this one in a moment. The case 3, case 3 is exactly one prime factor, one prime factor, which is simply a to the power 2022. It will look like this. And the number A can be chosen from the set 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. So there are 5 cases here. Or 5 such numbers. 5 numbers. Right? Now, let's see this carefully. The number of the case 1, this type, they look like a to the power 6, b to the power 16, c to the power 16. This is not a perfect cube. Because though a to the power 6 is a perfect cube, b to the power 16 is not a perfect cube and c to the power 16 is not a perfect cube. So the number as a whole is not a perfect cube. As there are 30 such numbers. Now, if you come to case 2, in subcase 2, there are 20 numbers and notice that these 20 numbers are also not perfect cubes because their powers are not multiples of 3. So, these 20 numbers and these 30 numbers together make 50 numbers which are satisfying the given conditions but are not perfect cubes. Now, what happens if I choose from subcase 1 or case 3. In subcase 1, notice that the power of A is a multiple of 3, power of B is also a multiple of 3. So these are perfect cubes. Similarly, in case 3, the power of A is a multiple of 3. 2022 is a multiple of 3. So this is a perfect cube. So if we choose any number from subcase 1 or case 3, then we got a perfect cube. But do we have to choose such a number? Well, of course, because there are 51 numbers chosen, right? From the first case, we have 30 numbers. And from the second case, we have subcase 2, we have 20 numbers. So total 50 numbers are accounted for. To choose the 51st number, I have to go either in subcase 1 of case 2 or case 3. So that means I have to include a perfect cube. And that's it. That's the final solution. This was actually quite simple once you know what you are looking for. Alright, I hope you liked it. I'll come back in the next video and do some more mathematics with you guys. Bye.